today I've got Marcus with me who is a global hairstylist for Tresemme and I'm really excited to have you here. Thank you. I have Very got nice to be here too. a lot of questions for you. I are can you, see are you ready? Phone. Yes. yes <laughs> Don't cheat. <laughs> yes, I'm going to throw you the two biggest problems that women face which is pretty much, I think, frizz and lack of shine, which we are always battling with. As you can see, I'm battling with it today as well. Mm -hmm. But how, how do we tackle this? I think the biggest problem that comes from lack of shine and frizz is somebody that's not properly taking care of their hair from shampoo conditioner. Oftentimes, it's too much, and they should be using the better one for their hair texture. So not shampooing every day. Oh, that's that's the big biggest thing I do all the time. I, sh I run every day, so I can't. I feel like I need to get well, it all off. The tip I would say for that is shampooing just the scalp mm -hmm. instead of not the going all the way down are. because this little guy is not getting the oil that appears. Yeah. So oh, you yeah. also feel like you can really clean the scalp by rinsing and massaging mm -hmm. and exfoliating just with your hands and the pressure from the shower. Mm -hmm. You don't actually need the shampoo. shampoo. And then, you know, I, I also... I've recommended a lot to mm -hmm. girls and to my family. Um, the Smooth and Shine from Tresemme mm -hmm. does both. It smooths and it gives the shine. So if you're having problems with those two, start mm -hmm. that. Even if it's every other day to see if it works for you is a great option. I need a case, like okay. today, <laughs> now. <laughs> okay, next question. Uh, what is the most important hair care tip according to you that like no girl can ignore? I think the biggest hair tip that's a very... A lot of pressure on that one question, but um, I think be very cautious with the amount of heat you mm -hmm. put on your hair because heat will, too much heat will have to uh, lend to um, faded color, mm -hmm. uh, excessive frizz, and breakage. And those are problems that a lot of people think certain products are going to remedy. Yeah. They'll help, but if you can really take caution into lowering the heat temperature yeah. on, your, on your tools and on your irons, um, not be in the sun as much or could wear a hat, yeah. little by little, those pay off. Okay, so. okay. Salon treatments, you know, are really expensive. Like a lot of people say, oh, get a hair spa done, get this mm -hmm. done. But, you know, a lot of people and a lot of girls obviously can't do this regularly. So as a, you know, home remedy, is there anything in the kitchen you can use to like, you know, help your hair, anything that you'd recommend? Well, if they can't afford to go to the salon as often as they'd like, you know, it's, it's a luxury. Yeah. I, I think that there's a couple of options. The the ones we can get from the store or in in nature, yeah. oils are super. They're they're amazing because they get honest results. They're yeah. not tainted by chemicals or by companies, um, but um, sometimes those are almost too heavy. But if you're going to go the natural route, um, choose an oil that's not as heavy. Um, depending on your hair type, there's almond, there's olive, there's jojoba. The list can yeah, go yeah. on. Tea tree. So there's a few different ones, and also never put it on your scalp. Yeah. Because your scalp really is the last thing that yeah, needs it. Yeah, of course, if of course you have a dry scalp, yeah, dandruff, sure. Um, there are also some really great conditioners from Tresemme, and the uh, the treatments are concentrates, which means a little bit goes a long, long way. Long way. All right. What are the biggest uh, hair trends for autumn winter this season? What do you think is going to be really big? Well, um, we saw a lot of uh, clean hair, mm -hmm. um, sleek hair. And we saw that also with um, involving ponytails. So the ponytail is very has a lot of shine, has a lot of um, reflectiveness to the hair, and th they come with ponytails, mm -hmm. deep side parts, uh, ponytails with center parts, yeah. um, as well as um, clean chignons. So it's very about regal glamour and bringing back some sophistication to hair. So on the flip side of it, it everything is not all sleek. There's also a bit of uh, homage to 60s yeah. uh, volume. Sort of. I think that's gonna work for me. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't think sleek is gonna homage. happen for sure. There's a bit of a Sophia Loren and Yeah, because if this is sleek, then this is like, whoo. <laughs> all right. No sound effects to your hair. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so as I said, you know, all over the world, people are battling with dandruff or frizz and hair falls, split ends, you know, the usual issues that every girl has. And I have a lot of people, like my subscribers, who sit and they keep commenting and saying, you know, how do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of this? So I love meeting people like you because then I just pass the question on and I'm like, how do they get rid of this? So it's a, it's a multi-question. Yeah. It's question. everything. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think it's about being knowledgeable about mm -hmm. what your hair is like. If it's 
thick with frizz or if it's thick hair but not a lot of it. Yeah. It's fine but there's a lot of it. Really knowing what, almost like knowing your face shape. Yeah. Knowing your face shape is going to allow you to choose the right haircut. So knowing your hair texture and scalp condition is going to help you choose the right products, the right hair and shampoo. Um, I think it's misdiagnosis is what a lot of the problem is. Yeah. We use products that are not meant for us, which then causes hair fall, which causes dandruff. If there's a lot of alcohol in a product, it's going to dry the hair out as well as the scalp, which then causes dandruff. Um, I also think a good thing for women to do is have an assortment. Have, mm -hmm. let's say, three shampoo and three conditioner, and they rotate it throughout the year. Okay. Because if you use one shampoo for 12 months out of the year, your hair is going to become immune to it. Okay. And you know, also, every time you shampoo, every time you want to condition, mm -hmm. you don't have to shampoo the hair. Yeah. Meaning, yeah. say you shampoo on a Monday, mm -hmm. and you're not supposed to shampoo till Wednesday. You can you can condition your hair on Tuesday. But just condition Shouldn't this part. Up. This is never going to get too much. Yeah, that, that will. So you feel like if you want to control breakage, frizz, yeah. all of that, you Treat know, color fading. Exactly. Yeah. So the two don't always have to work at the same time. Yeah, that's an interesting tip because, as I said, I've never really broken down this. Uh, you know, I, I'm always shampooing and conditioning, shampoo and conditioning like all the time, which I, unfortunately is a really bad habit. I know, and everybody's always like, "Don't shampoo yeah. every day," and that's something I'm working on. It's a confession I'm making, <laughs> and I'm gonna try and do it alternately. Is that good, Marcus? It's really good, and you know, even people that are very athletic, it would yeah. be talked about if you feel like you're more just prone, the, just the scalp, yeah, yeah. just the scalp, or if just the nape of the neck yeah and, you know I think that really goes a long way okay so we're gonna play a small little word association game I'm going to <laughs> tell you a word and you need to tell me the first thing that pops into your head I'm sure you've done this a million times I actually no, haven't. I haven't oh my god you're yeah. the first guy shiny dandruff flaky glamour what glamour, glamour. oh glamour waves curls you can't think you can't I, think <laughs> I wasn't PCness sorry I was trying to figure out how to say the word shampoo <laughs> Clean. Conditioner. Moisture. Trust me. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you passed, you passed. Okay, it was very stressful <laughs> just now. <laughs> You're like, oh my god, I have to say this right, I have to get this right. It's like a game show. Right? <laughs> <laughs> It's been great chatting with you. <laughs> great Thank you so much, Marcus. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. So, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and. Um, if you have more questions for Marcus, he's on Twitter as well. I'm on Twitter. So am I. And so thank you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And I will see you soon. And Marcus is coming back to India soon as well, right? Yes. <laughs> Bye. Girls, Marcus and me are giving away five Tresemme hampers to sort out all your hair care problems. All you got to do to win one of these is subscribe to the channel and comment below and tell me why I should give you one. Bye.